Okay, so you have a iPhone 6S or 6S Plus, and basically you get an error message that says, cannot connect to iTunes Store or App Store. I'm gonna show you several different things that you can do to possibly get it back up and running. So first thing is this, we wanna open up your settings, and then you wanna to go to general, and then from here, you want to scroll down, you want to go to date and time, okay? And you want to make sure that this is toggled on, set automatically. Make sure that is on just like that. And then go ahead and try to open up your uh, app store, see if it's working. If it's not, then we're going to go to the next step. Next step is tap on settings here. Let me go back. And then from here, what we want to do is we want to go down to where it says cellular. Yours may say mobile data, okay? So tap on that. And then from here, we're going to go down, and it says right here, it says use cellular data for, and we're going to look for the app stores. Everything's in alph alphabetical order. Make sure this app store is toggled on, okay? And then from there, try the app store. If it doesn't work, then we're going to go to the next one. Next one is this. Again, we're going to go back into your, go back into your settings here. And then you want to tap on general, and now scroll all the way down to the very bottom. And you want to tap on reset. Now what we want to do is we want to tap on reset network settings. Okay. Tap on that. And you want to put your password in there. And now it says here, it says, this will delete all network settings, returning them to factory defaults. You're not going to be losing any photos or videos. This is basically all in uh, terms of your network settings. So basically, I just tapped on it. Now once I reboot it, to get on my Wi-Fi and things like that, I'm going to have to retype re all my passwords in, okay? So wait for that to boot up and then try to get into your uh, app store and hopefully it's up and running. If it's not, then we can do, just go to the next step here. The next step would be go to, go into settings again. And now what I want, now what I want you to do is go ahead and tap on your Wi-Fi. Now go ahead and turn the Wi-Fi off and now go ahead and try to get into your app store solely using your mobile data. Okay, now if you can't get in there, then what you want to do is go back to your settings under Wi-Fi. Go ahead and tap this back on. Now what I want you, what you to do is go to where your, your uh, wireless modem or router is. Okay, go there and reset it. Basically what I mean by resetting is go ahead and unplug it, leave it out for one minute, then plug it back in, and then come back to your phone and try to open up your app store and hopefully you're up and running. If you're not, then we're gonna to go to the next step here, which would be to go into settings here. And you basically wanna make sure that you are updated to the latest um, version here. So we can go into settings and then we wanna go into general and then where it says software update, make sure you're up to date with the latest software. If you're not, go ahead and install to the latest one. Now the last thing I have for you is basically a factory reset. Basically when you're under general again, you can go over here, scroll all the way down to the very bottom and it says reset here. Now take note, now if you do a factory reset, you're gonna lose every single thing on your phone. All your photos, everything is gonna be gone. So before you do this, Make sure you do a backup. You can do a backup on um, iTunes or iCloud. But it says right here, erase all content and settings. I mean, you tap on that, you type, you type in your password, and it's going to go through the re reboot process, and it's going to delete everything, okay? Then once it deletes everything, you can retrieve everything uh, from your backup, which is, would be like on iCloud or iTunes. So that would be definitely the uh, very, very last step. If you guys have 